YouTube. So today you find me in the garden. It's a really hot summer's day. So hence the fact I'm dressed like a disheveled bounder. So the focus of today's video is just going to be something simple that anyone can do in the garden. There's a lot of insects around today, a lot of butterflies, a lot of bees, a lot of wasps, all them kind of things. So I thought I'd get the macro lens on my camera. So I've got that here and go out and take a few shots in the garden and see what I can do. So those that are interested to see how I'm set up, I've got my D800, which is a full frame uh, Nikon camera. On this, I've got a flash gun. Um, it's just one of the cheap sort of Chinese ones, fully manual. And I've got a diffuser on this to help um, just diffuse the light because what you find sometimes when you're doing these kind of shots is even on a bright sunny day like today to keep my ISO down to 100 and um, my f-stop's probably going to be up to sort of like f-16 that you do need the flash and also the flash gives you better light than the sunlight as well because the sunlight tends to be very harsh while this is like having a massive softbox um, which produces a nice soft diffuse light and gives you a bit more pleasing images and if you think of this in re relation to the size of the insects as well, this would be like if you went to a studio to have your portrait taken, probably having a soft box the size of a house next to you, which would probably be the most complimentary light that you could ever get. So I'll have a wander around the garden now, see what we can come up with, and I'll just show you how I go about doing things. Now I should point out I'm not an expert in this, this is something I just do for fun every now and then. And if you really want to know how to do like macro properly, there's loads of good other people out there. And I'll put a link to a good video up above. Okay, so I've come down to the bottom of the garden. There's, on here I get a lot of insect life, which is pretty cool. I can see it's full of bees, so I'll definitely be taking a few shots of them today. When I was running through the equipment before, I forgot to mention what my lens was, so I've got a 105mm Sigma macro lens on here, and that's what I'll be using today. You can see that, for me, this diffuser is a bit awkward actually, it's longer than my lens, so I have to pinch it back with my fingers, which is not ideal, um, but hopefully I'll get something better to do this a bit more in the future. So, the way I approach this, if, if I see, I'll look for something that's um, of interest, I tend to sort of slowly move my camera towards where the insect is before looking through the eyepiece and I just rock backwards and forwards, I've got manual focus on, I just rock backwards and forwards till it's in focus and then fire my shot off. Okay so that's how I go around taking the macro shot so let's just have a run around and see what I can find. Okay so one thing I forgot to mention is how I go around focusing. Um, so I, I use manual focus on my camera, so what I tend to do is just get a pre-focus on one of the sort of plants that the insects are on. So I know roughly, so I just manually focus that in, and now I know roughly sort of how far away from my camera to be from the insect. So once an insect lands on there, I'll get my camera around about that distance, and that's what I know, just move the camera with my body backwards and forth just to make fine adjustments and that's how I um, how I do that. I don't touch the focus ring at all. I just use my the, the motion of my body just rocking backwards and forwards to do that. Okay so I've got some nice shots of bees over there. So I've come over to this part of the garden and noticed some different types of bees on here so I thought I'd give them a go as well. There's some butterflies as well in the garden, so I'll give them a go. And I'll just keep doing it and going around and seeing how many nice shots I can get at the end. So what I'll do is I'll end the video here. Okay, so if you have liked today's video, do hit that subscribe button. Also check me out on Instagram as well. I'll put a link in the description below um, so you can find me on there. And what I'll do is, all the shots I get today, if I get any nice ones, I'll put them on at the end of the video so you can have a look through them. And do feel free to, in the comments below, to call out any that are your favourites. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.